Hi everyone, I'm really excited to be bringing this video to you. Um, I've had quite a few requests and questions since I started blogging about my journey with ICS, especially in relation to my level seven diploma that I'm currently doing, which is a, a task and a half. But I have had quite a few requests through LinkedIn and Twitter to do a couple of features around how the CIPD qualifications can help improve your chances of landing your dream job, but also how it can help with your continuous development. So I'm going to do a series of videos because I think that it will be much easier to convey those uh, and answer those questions. So the first question that I got was from a lady on LinkedIn and she asked me how she can make the time to study a CIPD qualification whilst working full time. In all honesty, I've been doing it for um, a very long time. So I did my first CIPD qualification back in 2012. So it was quite a way into my HR career considering I started in 2007. And the reason that I started so late, I think, was because I found it rather intimidating. I'd been out of school for many years and it'd been a long time since I'd actually studied properly. So to go into that was actually quite a daunting prospect for me. And I can imagine that that's quite common. But once I got into the swing of it and I did my CIPD level three, I actually found that um, really useful um, to be able to move into the next stage of my career because I was actually uh, made redundant during that time. So to be able to do my, my CIPD level three was quite an achievement at such a, a, an unstable time in, in my career, if you like, but also for the wider economy because the recession had hit during that time. So I managed to complete my level three. Um, I then quickly moved into my level five and I started studying my level five with ICS, so the distance learning provider. I have to work um, full time and I wouldn't be able to um, afford to do the CIPD qualifications in all honesty if I didn't have the flexibility that comes with their payment plan. So that was one of the reasons I chose ICS as, as a provider. And since then, I've, I've progressed into my, my level seven now. So it does require a heck of a load of a commitment, really, to be able to do your CIPD qualifications whilst you're working and doing that via distance learning, because it requires quite a high level of discipline. So you have to plan your time really carefully. So to be able to do that between working full time, having a family life, social life, um, exercising whatever it is that you like to do it can be quite a challenge so by establishing whether you can commit to that study in the first place is actually really important but as with everything in life nothing worth working for comes easy um, so it's important to remember that whilst you understand that there is a level of commitment you've got to think of what that overall objective is so find out why you want to study that qualification um, specifically and exactly your reasons for doing it is it for career progression is it for that recognition for me at the moment i'm working towards my chartered cipd membership which is really important to me because i've been associate level since 2012-2013 and um, I really want to progress that so to be able to become then a chartered member gives me that extra clout that comes with being a, a, a I'm now a HR consultant so that's what I what my personal aims and objectives are for you it could be something completely different so do figure out why you want to do that in the first place and then decide if you you can commit to it so another aspect is that you may or may not have experience in HR. Um, so one thing between that um, and one thing is certain is that often or not for HR roles now, you will see that um, CIPD qualification is desirable. We're now starting to see that as becoming an essential criteria for um, for those and it demonstrates that level of commitment to the profession itself which is why um, so many people and employers themselves are looking for that so yes I, I, it feels like I've been talking for quite a while um, but I will be doing more of these these videos um, I'm specifically doing in my next video which will be on planning your actual studies and 
deciding on what qualification route is right for you. I've had about eight or nine questions now, which is really good. So do keep them coming in because whatever you want to ask, we will be able to um, try and answer that as, as best as I can. But also it helps other people decide on whether they think it's right for them. Ultimately, by broadening our network and connecting with each other, we are able to then pass on that knowledge and that experience to help other people. And the reason that we're in HR is because we like to look out for the best interests of other people generally, um, as well as those within our organisations. So to be able to broaden our HR networks, um, I do firmly believe that knowledge is power. So let's try and um, inspire other people, but also help them with their journeys as well. If you want to submit a question to me, do feel free to pop it in the comments box below. This is also going to be put on YouTube and um, also onto the blog. But additionally, if you want to tweet me, um, please feel free to ask me any questions within reason. And hopefully I'll be able to help answer those trickier questions for you. Now, I hope that helps answer your question. I'm not going to name the lady because she didn't give me permission to, to give her name. But um, if you are thinking that Am I going to have enough time for your CIPD qualification? Absolutely. And is it going to be worth it? Yes, it will be, because that is something that you've worked really hard for. And I'm a firm believer that you get out of your career what you put in. So do make sure that you are doing um, the best that you possibly can to better yourself and put yourself into that position. And your career is what you make of it. So as soon as you get started, the sooner you'll be able to finish and achieve your goals.